Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing in salary.com. This is Selenium web driver part 64 and we'll discuss about uh, properties file today and usage of properties file in Selenium. But before I start this video, let me take you to my blog that is automation testing in salary.com. So in the last video we talked about page object model using page factory. So if you navigate to my blog automation testing and just navigate to this Selenium tutorial and here you will find all the topics and uh, I have covered uh, I have created a post on page object model as well this is the first part and uh, this is the second part page object model using page factory so just open it and here you will see uh, the complete steps okay complete notes I have written over here this is pom.xml and uh, these are the different steps to be followed to create base class so here uh, this is the base class and steps to follow to create page class so here I have written step by step all the uh, I mean uh, I have covered everything uh, for that particular topic uh, page object model using page factory and one more thing I have uh, we have posted few uh, few things on software testing as well so if you click on that so here you can see some manual testing concepts, SDLC and introduction to software testing, traditional software development models, different types of software testing method and uh, different software testing types. So uh, you can also go through these uh, um, post as well. So this is uh, here we have different type of software testing. Okay. So you can go through this. Now let's come back to this topic. So we are going to talk about properties file in Selenium. So what is property file? So dot properties file, the extension of this property file is dot properties. Files are mainly used in Java programs to maintain project configurations like data, database configuration and uh, project settings. Okay, etc. Each parameter in properties file is stored as a pair of strings. So we have key value pair format in this uh, file okay? where each key is on one line uh, and uh, you can easily read properties file from some file using object of type properties. So we need to create the object of properties class and then we can access uh, the property file. I will show you demo like how we can access the property file. And what are the usage in selenium? So in selenium dot properties file are mainly used to store GUI locators. So you can create uh, like object repository as well, okay, where you can locate all your locators in properties file, okay, uh, all UI locators or elements, and also global fields like URL. Nowadays we are uh, using it for global variables, global fields like URL, uh, username, password, file path, database configuration, details, etc. So which are constant throughout our uh, project. So these information we can keep in properties file. Okay. So let's use the previous project which we have created in the la uh, in the last video. Okay. And uh, I'll show you how we can access properties file. So this is the project which I have created in the last session. Form page factory. Page object model page factory. So what I'll do, I'll create one folder here to create pro properties file so you can keep inside any package over here you can create separate package separate folder or package okay uh, here yes i see in java but uh, i think it's better to have in the form of folder over here in the project directory so what i'll do right click on project and new we have folder so here i'll create folder configuration configuration okay and click on finish and inside this folder I'll create one file so let's say yeah uh, if you right click new and here we have file and I'll give name like config dot properties properties make sure uh, the extent extension should be properties okay properties it's not property its properties so just click on finish so this is my properties file so here you can keep URL 
and uh, username uh, you can keep uh, username and password yes password as well and some database configuration okay and uh, some string I mean file path as well so let's use uh, these three fields for now URL username and pass password okay so we'll pass uh, these three fields from here from pro properties file we read the properties file and we'll access URL username and password from here so what I'll do already this is our project structure guys uh, so in the last video inside src main java we have created couple of package com.orangehrm.bees so this is for bees class and uh, for pages we have uh, this uh, com.orangehrm.pages so here we have three pages and uh, in test folder src test java we have uh, this com.orangehrm.test cases where we have uh, return our test cases uh, test classes okay so what i'll do i'll open this base class and this is our url okay so now what we'll do we'll access this url using we'll access this url using properties file so simply you'll put url over here without giving double quotes okay you need to just keep like this because this is a string only so you need to just keep like this and uh, we'll we need username so admin is username for orange hrm and admin123 is the password so we can keep like this just do control s so our configuration config.properties file is ready and uh, in uh, base class what we'll do we'll create a global variable here public uh, in properties properties class uh, we'll create a object uh, I would say reference variable of properties class first prop okay and then I'll create one method inside base class because base class is accessible from our child classes uh, from pages and from test cases test classes okay so what i'll do i'll create one uh, method here read config to read the config file configuration file okay and here we need to create the object of properties okay properties class so how to create the object new and we have properties like this this is how we can create the object and uh, we'll assign object to this variable prop and there is another class file input stream so we'll use that To load the configuration we need this file input stream okay file input stream so we have to second a file input stream obtains input bytes from a file in a file system so to read the files we need this file input stream why it is giving oh sorry forgot new keyword now this is fine and here we have to provide the this will take uh, this is not a uh, a default constructor okay so this is parameterized constructor so here we have to provide file okay so how to provide we'll provide the this config.properties file path so how to provide so we have a system class system dot gate property and uh, here we'll write user dot directory so this will root directory of your project and we'll use uh, plus operator to concate our path so what is our uh, path this config.properties right click on that and properties and here we need to just copy like this and yeah put it over here like this so all should be forward slash or if you take 
backward then double slash so this is fine and uh, last semicolon is there do one thing do like this okay and uh, at last what we'll do we'll use this object prop dot load to load the configuration we have load method and uh, in properties class and here i'll pass this fs parameter uh, fs object from file input stream okay and uh, what i'll do simply i'll use uh, we need to add a uh, throws declaration or will surround by try catch so let's run with try try catch try catch block like this and uh, yeah so it will be handled the exception will be handled using catch block okay so this is how we can config uh, configure our uh, read config uh, this is how we can read the configuration file okay and uh, what i'll do now we are going to use url from properties file so these are all global variables guys so this will be used entire uh, throughout entire project so let's say if you are going to change the url then simply you need to you have to just come into this property come to, come on this properties file and you have to just change the url from here okay or let's say you want to test for any other user so just come here and change the url username and password so now let's use those username and password here we have system class dot oh sorry we have to use the prop object and get property but before that we need to call this method to load the configuration so we'll call this method because this is created inside a base class only so i'll call this method directly from here from our setup method okay so the configuration will be read by uh, i mean this will call this method will be called and uh, all the configuration will be uh, uh, read and uh, yeah so we need to use driver driver dot gate inside gate method okay so prop dot gate uh, property and inside double quotes we have to provide the url like this so this is for url so we can access the url from uh, uh, config.properties and let's do one more thing for username and password as well so where is our test classes so let's say login page test so here we are passing the parameters in this login method in login test okay so instead of that what we can use we can use prop dot get property because this class is extends uh, login page test extends base class so we can read this prop directly okay and then go get property and here i'll write whatever name you have given key value key you have to exactly copy that one username okay so this is for username and uh, for password prop dot get property and here what is the password so this is password key so we need to pass like this so all done so simply what we have done we have created a object of this properties reference variable firstly and then we have created one method read config in base class where to read the properties file okay so just three lines of code we need to create the object of properties class and file input stream class okay and just need to load the configuration and simply we need to call the uh, call this method git property and pass the key over here 
now everything is done where is our test ng dot xml i'll simply run this test ng dot xml suite so right click run as test ng suite let's see what happens so browser is launched now here you can see it navigates to you orange hrm so the first test case is executed this would be the second test case if you remember we have three test cases and this would be the third test case entering username and password and uh, click on that admin tab and close the browser at the end so here you can see all the test cases are passed so if you see we read the configuration from properties file okay so this url similarly you can have some other uh, configurations as well whatever is uh, uh, reusable constants are there global variables you can keep in properties file okay so this is all done from my side guys for today and uh, in the next video we'll see a very important data driven framework uh, how to read read x uh, i mean how to read excel file from uh, i mean using apache py we'll see in a, in selenium how we can do that we'll look into it okay so yeah so please visit my blog as well uh, I have covered all the topics inside this Selenium tutorial and uh, in Java for Selenium all the topics related to Java and here we have question and answers as well Java questions and answer and Selenium question and answers and for manual testing you can refer the software testing so thank you so much if you are new to my channel then please subscribe it okay thank you so much have a nice day bye bye